In this video, we will be discussing about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that is COPD. We know it's a heterogeneous lung disease or lung condition, characterized by chronic respiratory symptoms, like we have the dyspnea, cough, sputum production, and exacerbations. These symptoms develop due to abnormalities of the airways in the lung. The COPD encompasses two important types of conditions. One is the chronic bronchitis, other one is the emphysema. We see the chronic bronchitis is a product to cup that is present for at least three months each year for two years. And it's classically known as blue bloaters because chronic bronchitis can cause severe difficulty breathing and decreased oxygen in the body. This can result in a patient's skin and lips taking on a bluish tint. That's why it's termed as blue bloaters. On the other hand, we have the emphysema. It is a condition with enlarged air spaces and alveolar wall destruction. And this condition is classically known as pink puffers because the people with emphysema typically find it difficult to catch their breath, which means they may take short, fast breaths or gasp. This fast labored breathing may cause their skin to appear red or pink temporarily. That's why termed as pink puffers. Now let's see the causes of COPD. The first main cause is the tobacco smoking. Second one is the inhalation of toxic particles and gases. And third one is genetic causes, where we get the mutation of serpina 1 gene, which leads to deficiency of alpha 1 antitrypsin protein. Furthermore, let's see the hallmark of COPD. In COPD, the FVC that's forced vital capacity decreases and forced expiratory volume 1 decreases considerably. So at the end, the ratio of FVC to FEV1 is reduced. And on the other hand, when the alveoli are destroyed, the air is trapped in the lungs and TLC is increased. That is total lung capacity. Furthermore, the functional residual capacity also increases and then obviously the residual volume also increases because air is getting trapped inside the lungs. Now let's explain the chronic bronchitis in detail. We know it's common among secret smokers and urban dwellers in smoke-ridden cities. And this disease or condition is simply defined as the presence of a persistent productive cup for at least three consecutive months in at least two consecutive years. And in this condition, we have the hypersecretion of mucus within the lungs. As we can see in this diagram, on the left, we have the normal bronchial tube with normal open airway, few mucus glands, and on the right, we have the abnormal bronchial tube, which is inflamed with increased number of mucus glands, secreting excess mucus. Now let's discuss the chronic bronchitis in detail. Here in this diagram, we have the epithelial cells and in between these cells, we have the goblet cells. Underneath the epithelium, we have the basement membrane and then loose connective tissue. These two structures make us the lamina propria and altogether epithelium plus lamina propria makes us the mucosa. Then under the mucosa, we have the smooth muscle followed by connective tissue and in the connective tissue, the bronchial mucinous glands arise as shown in the diagram that take their secretion through a duct into the epithelium membrane where it secretes the mucus which lines the epithelium as shown in the diagram. So this is the normal lining of bronchial tubes and other structures within the lungs. But when we get the exposure to irritants and chemicals, the EGF receptor is stimulated which drives the upregulation of MAC5AC gene or mucin gene in goblet cells. And this gene expression in goblet cells leads to overproduction of mucin, a gel-like secretion. In the same way, we get other abnormalities like we get the hypertrophy, hyperplasia of cells and glands and goblet cells increases in the number as shown in the diagram. The glands increases, the goblet cells increases which in turn drives hypersecretion of mucus. That leads to a condition called chronic bronchitis. Now let's see how we get the destruction of lung tissues in COPD. We see when there is presence of any secret smoke or other irritant, it activates the alveolar macrophages, which secretes chemotactic factors like IL-8, CXC chemokinase and LTB4. These factors drive activation of neutrophils, which secretes inflammatory factors and 
proteases like we get the secretion of neutrophil elastase cathepsins and matrix metalloproteinases these abnormal quantities of proteases released by the neutrophils overpowers the antiprotease activities of certain enzymes present on the epithelium which leads to uncontrolled proteolysis and subsequently lung damage we see the neutrophil elastase cathepsin g and pr3 protein all of which are capable of damaging different components of ecm such as collagen laminin fibrillin and elastin so all in all we can see the destruction of lung tissue here moreover in this diagram we see the alveoli which has got thick inflamed inner walls with hypersecretion of mucus as shown in the diagram this causes the trapping of co2 in the alveoli that means partial co2 increases and partial oxygen decreases so ultimately in the blood capillaries we have condition like that with high co2 levels and low oxygen levels which leads to hypercapnia that's high carbon dioxide in the blood and hypoxemia that's low oxygen in the blood and from this we get the cyanosis that's why it's sometimes termed as blue bloaters so this is what copd is and the chronic bronchitis the emphysema will be discussed in the upcoming video i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting me work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks